Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about major misunderstandings in software engineering. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what are some misunderstandings of software development? And the short answer would be number one, that it's free money. Number two would be that it is, whew, that it is always logical, that there's always a good reason for something. Let me explain. First and foremost, guys, yes, there are a lot of money to be made in software engineering or software, absolutely, but there is not, no such thing as a free lunch. Most of the developers who work as professional grade software developers work pretty hard in order to achieve that skill so that they can actually be valued enough that they can actually get these higher salaries that most people are after. It is not going to happen for you if you, for, if you just invest the bare minimum. The average software developer needs to invest one to five years even to get the first job. That is usually how long it takes. You can, if you're extraordinarily fortunate, get there quicker but to earn the really big paycheck it's just that's just the beginning of the story i mean if i look back on my first salary i had i worked for i think i was in school for a few, i was in school for a few years and then i got my first salary and i mean the first one was not that much higher than somebody who was working at mcdonald's and then i got my second job and sure and it became a little bit more but it's still it was still on par with roughly what you would make in any sort of educated field. I'm pretty sure that the people who, well, if I talk to my pe my uh, coworkers who worked in sales in other depart in other areas or in other companies, they were making more than me. Uh, my law degree co co friends, they were also making more than me, and it took a few years until I started making so much progress within my career that I actually started making some more serious money, and I'm still not making as much as, as I could. If I wanted to just push it as much as humanly possible, then sure I could do that as well, but. What I'm telling you is that it takes a while to get that money. It's not going to be handed to you. It's not easy. I'm sorry that the internet is telling you that it is easy because it's not. It's not easy. It requires real effort. I can promise you this. If you are too lazy to even get up and go to the gym and take care of yourself on a regular basis and you want to become a programmer, just don't. Just don't try it. Don't even do it. Because if you lack the dedication to literally sit and study pretty much every day and spend not one hour, not two hours a day, but many, many, many hours a day to just understand how this works, to just figure out what the web is, what a computer, like there's so much to learn. I, I'm just warning you, I'm stating that it will take you a lot of investment to even get up to a point where you can be useful in a professional environment. And the st stuff that you learn on a single boot camp or a single YouTube video, or I guess a few videos, is not going to make you all that useful. It's really not going to make you useful. It's going to give you some basics, but then you need to practice so that the, these things start to make sense to you. And that is, it is a big investment. It's not beyond you. I know that everybody who's watching this pretty much can make this happen. It's just that you will have to have a fair amount of dedication to do it. And that's why I make the analogy to, to fitness. If you, if you can't, if you've never ever invested more than a, the bare minimum into anything for a, for a sustained period of time, then this is not going to be easy for you. It's very likely going to end with you learning some basics or paying for some boot camps and then just quitting because I can promise you it takes a lot more effort than what you're probably used to. With that said, that would be the first thing. That is the biggest misunderstanding or misconception about software engineering. It is not something that you just do and then, hey, 
you're a software developer. It is it requires effort. The other part would be that you, people believe that everything that software engineers do are it's just you know because what we do is for most people magic. They believe that we are just clever and we just make good decisions, and we don't. Holy shit, we don't. There is so much pointless bickering and arguments about tooling and practices and that person is an idiot because they are using object-oriented programming and not functional programming and that person is an idiot because they're using I don't know, Puppet instead of Ansible and or are you not using Kubernetes and you're, then you're an idiot as well because that is like the best thing ever. Oh my god, are you still working on Java, you old fart? Everything's about Go these days, isn't it? This stuff, guys, it's constant. It's like this, for me, it's like this big cloud of pointless arguments and discussions and opinions that is just exhaustive. It, it's exhausting. It is com so exhausting to deal with this. And it is constant. And you, and if you, you're someone who may not be programming, but you're somebody who's buying software, you should also know that this is happening with your developers as well. Your developers are not every day sitting down at their computer and just going, Today I feel really motivated to do the best thing that I can and I'm going to write perfect flawless software in time of course for my, my employer and make sure that this company is well off and that I'm really earning that paycheck. They're not. With, you know what they're doing? Some of them are coming in and saying, okay, it's just another day or you know what, I should be fixing this and I should be fixing that but I don't really care. I, have, I don't have the energy and it's almost coffee, t coffee time now. Let's not test this because I've, you know, it's, I'm, I don't have the energy to test this. And some people are coming in and going, cool, how can I fuck up this code as much as humanly possible? Well, not technically. Usually what they do is that they say things like, hmm, what design pattern should I use now? Hmm, I've been reading up about this library here. I should probably use that because that is a really cool way of working. So let's add that in. And you know what? This code over here that has been working forever is a little bit, you know, it's not up to my standards. I'm going to rewrite that in a different paradigm. Cool. And then I don't test it. And then there are regressions, of course, but I, I don't really consider that right now. These things are happening every day, every day, guys. In many ways, I would say that I used to think that software developers were these I mean, I was afraid at one point of becoming a software developer because I thought that they were so smart and I thought that when I was younger and I thought that everything was so complicated and everything was this and that, right? And now that, I, now that I've been doing this for a while, I've, I understand, I mean, it requires, as I was saying, it's not easy because, it but once you have understood how to write software and how to think in the right way, I feel many times like I'm dealing with a bunch of just like just it's like it, there's no difference for me when it comes to people at least between doing this or doing a, being a software engineer and being I used to be a mover and do some construction work. It feels like the same fucking thing. It's the same discussions pretty much. Yeah, well, the language is a little bit nicer uh, in my experience. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe you have some really harsh mouthed. Uh, developers in your company, but usually this is how I feel about it. So what I want you to take away from this is that number one, the big, the two big, uh, one of the two biggest misunderstandings about software engineering is that it is easy to become a software engineer. People are constantly underestimating how much work it takes to become one, and people are constantly underestimating how much time it takes to develop software. Everybody thinks that it's like the golden age of software engineering and stuff and then, then for some reason that also correlates into them believing that it's easy. It's not. It requires investment. And I'm just going to tell you, if you are the sort of person who, who promises to get in shape on Monday and then quits by Friday, this is not for you. If you're the sort of person who is genuinely interested in learning something that is pretty fucking cool and makes you one of the most, the hottest professions in the marketplace today, then go for it. This is really worth the investment. Second thing, 
people constantly believe that software engineers just make good decisions or that there's always a reason for what they're doing and they're so smart and they do everything right. They don't. They fuck up every single day. Every single day I, de- I and my coworkers, we deal with inter issues about oh people have different opinions and now we have to discuss which is the right approach people are constantly hiring junior or inexperienced developers who think that they know absolutely everything about everything because they watched a few ted talks and a few google io talks and they're just adding a bunch of bullshit into the code and messes mess things up and then you have to live with that of course and some days you are motivated and you really want to do a good job and some days you don't give a fuck, everything is just crap and you're not, you don't have the energy to even write your tests properly. And some days you feel like inspired and you come up with a genius solution that doesn't turn out to be so genius. Guys, software developers are just as fucking human as everybody else. The only difference is that they have studied longer to be able to fuck things up at the level they are fucking things up. Have a great day.